Hey there, nature lovers, and welcome back to Terry Mater Gardens. Today we're taking a closer look at a fascinating yet often misunderstood creature, the white wolf spider. While spiders might not be everyone's favorite, there's no denying that these creatures are incredible hunters and play an essential role in ecosystems around the world. Did you know that the white wolf spiders are not web builders? Unlike many other spider species, they trap their prey in webs. White wolf spiders are active hunters. They rely on their speed, agility, and sharp eyesight to chase down and capture prey on the ground. They've earned their name wolf spider because they hunt in a similar way to wolves, stalking and pouncing on their prey with precision and power. White wolf spiders are named for their pale, almost white or light gray coloration, though their exact shade can vary depending on the environment they live in. The coloration provides excellent camouflage in sandy or arid environments. Like other wolf spiders, they have a sturdy, muscular body and long, powerful legs designed for fast running and leaping. Adult wolf spiders are medium to large in size, with body lengths ranging from 0.5 to 1.5 inches, and their leg span can make them appear even larger. One of the most striking features of wolf spiders is their eye arrangement. They have eight eyes and three distinct rows, with two large prominent eyes in the middle that give them an excellent night vision, a critical advantage for a nocturnal hunter. White wolf spires are primarily found in arid and semi-arid regions such as deserts, grasslands, and scrublands. The range includes parts of North America, but they can also be found in other dry environments around the world. Unlike spiders that rely on webs, wolf spiders need open ground to stalk their prey, so they prefer habitats with sparse vegetation and loose soil or sand where they can dig burrows. During the day, they often hide in these burrows or under rocks and debris, staying out of sight from predators and the hot sun. At night, they emerge to hunt using their keen eyesight and agility to track down insects and other small invertebrates. White wolf spires are solitary creatures and they're highly territorial when it comes to their hunting grounds. They can run fast and jump several times their body length to catch an unsuspecting insect. Their diet consists mainly of insects and small invertebrates, including crickets, beetles, and grasshoppers, and even other small spiders. They have excellent hunting instincts, pouncing on their prey with precision before delivering a venomous bite to immobilize them. If you're considering keeping a white wolf spider as a pet, it's important to provide a habitat that mimics their natural environment. A terrarium measuring about 10 gallons or larger is suitable for a single adult spider. The enclosure should be well ventilated and have a secure lid as wolf spiders are excellent climbers and could escape if given the chance. The substrate should be loose soil, sand, or a mix of both as these spiders like to dig shallow burrows. Include hiding spots like rocks, cork bark, or artificial caves to give them a sense of security. Since wolf spiders don't spin webs, they need space to roam, so be sure to provide an open area for hunting. Temperature in the enclosure should be maintained between 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees Fahrenheit with slightly lower temperatures at night to mimic natural conditions. For humidity, a light misting every few days is enough as they don't require a highly humid environment. When it comes to diet, white wolf spiders can be fed a variety of live insects such as crickets, roaches, and mealworms every few days. Remember these spiders are solitary so they should not be housed with other spiders or animals. In some cultures and areas, they're appreciated for their pest control abilities as they help keep insect populations in check. However, caution should be taken if you're considering keeping one. Though their venom is harmless to humans, wolf spiders can bite if they feel threatened and the bite may cause a mild irritation. And that wraps up our introduction to the white wolf spider. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content on animals and wildlife. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.